Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back to the crypt. I am Draven, of course. And thank you all for coming and for everyone subscribing. And okay, so I just want to get into some of these things. Sorry, I, I was a little late. Um, I just had to go over some of the um, uh, messages, the DMs. And while I was trying to copy them over to be as safe as possible, look at them all and make sure there was nothing incriminating or anything, um, you know, that took a second. And then for a second, they didn't want to go from my email to my uh, folder that I made. So I had to restart that a few times. So again, sorry that I was just five minutes late. It happens. I'm always late. I'll be late for my own funeral. <laughs> Um, but I definitely want to say what's up to the 80, and yes, 80 people. What is up, guys? Uh, I definitely appreciate it. What's wrong with you guys? Why are you subscribing to me? No, 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 okay, but for real, thank you, um, uh, very, very much. I think that is awesome, and you know, I'll, t I'll take it. Anything, uh, helps me, helps the channel. Um, really, thank you. So, uh, I want to ask you guys a favor. I mean, anyone could participate, but for the 80 people that sus subscribed to me specifically last week, just do me a favor, just show everybody that you're, you know, that you're real <laughs> or that you're out there and uh, definitely like the stream. I want to get at least a hundred likes on this. Um, but yeah, if you can like the stream and even better, just comment, you can just say subbed or I sub or whatever. That would just be a really, really awesome thing to do. But what's up, all new 80 people? And for everyone else, welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of uh, the rest of the uh, messages, the Instagram messages to go through. I have some um, ones that make sense with the ones I showed before. Um, and that's the reason that that happened like that. Not to make an excuse, but I just want to kind of be transparent about that. Um, they have to be converted into English because Ashley is Norwegian. So she has to first convert them into English so I can understand them and then send them over to me. And then I have to take them and put them in some sort of a uh, sequential order. So you'll, you might see one or two messages from before, but I didn't have other context to go with that. So now I do. So thank you again, Ashley. For that, uh, that makes, uh, hopefully that makes a lot of sense to people. So that's why uh, if you see anything um, from before, it's because of that. Because uh, I, you know, um, I didn't have all the translations, you know. We were just trying to get the key moments. And I, I did not take everything, every message. I will say that Ashley did some incredible trolling. Uh, you know, being very honest, a very honest troll. And I think that really threw Rev and Shani off. But seriously, like, you know, congrats to you with that because I think that just really... They, they weren't expecting it. You know what I'm saying? So, awesome, awesome trolling. Um, but we're going to get into some things in these messages. Some things about Ashley's personal life. And like I said, I'm not trying to uh glorify that or monetize that i'm just trying to show context to the story of uh what would happen if you talk to these two shani and rev i'm talking about if anybody does and you're going to notice a pattern here and that what the pattern is is that it's always the same oh that that sucks you know do you have any money do you have any more money then they put it it's like a block. I guess Instagram goes like a, uh, like a almost like how Discord does. Like a, I'm sleeping right now, or I'm timed out. Like a timeout block where you could still see them, but they're not really listening, watching, reading your messages until they need more money again. So you're gonna notice that a lot. But um, you know, <laughs> I know some people want to use uh, share my video or uh, critique it. And that's fine, but uh, I guess they didn't like that I was, you know, switching, uh, showing the messages with the uh, video. And sorry, that's how I kind of stretched the thing out. <laughs> Don't re at me. No, I'm kidding. But uh, this time, I will just put them all in a row. It's a lot to go through, so um, I don't even think I don't even have time for a video uh, today. I'm just going to... 
do the messages and do them in a row and I'll read them because some people wanted me to actually read everyone. So I will I'm gonna read everyone and I'm going to do them in a row. This way, if anyone does want to critique this again later on or whatever, it'll be uh, a lot easier for them. But I just hope they know that I know what I'm doing and I do it to stretch it, the whole thing out. <laughs> and uh, one other thing uh, before we start. Uh, so G-Man made a video and I just want to play a really, really one small, small, small part of that video. But guys, don't forget to like, subscribe if you're not, and let us get into this. Or let's get into this. Happy belated uh, Valentine's Day uh, and uh, happy Thursday. We're almost at Friday, folks. But uh, he made a video, and at thirty mine, like about thirty six minutes in, he says he wanted to show something. Now I did ask him about this because I am uh curious and what i'm curious is about i mean first thing is first why rev would want him to throw away a broken iphone so he's about to show something that they left behind in the uh house that he sold in pa and what was left behind was one of the boys left their cell phone and i'm not talking like a hundred dollar cell phone or even a hundred and fifty dollar samsung i'm talking about like a thousand dollar plus apple phone uh and the reason behind that they couldn't charge it there's a charging port now for 140 bucks you can get that port replaced i know people who do it but nowadays a lot of people what they do is wireless charging because the apples they're very expensive they have the wireless charging technology so they were able to get into he was able to charge it but the thing is this is why i asked what i actually asked him privately if there was anything incriminating because i don't know and you know the truth is uh about here i'll let him play it and i'll tell you what i found out i think i do believe zachary said that this thing right here could not be charged and i found a way to get around that now i'm not as technologically sound as some of you guys are no. But I did learn what a wireless uh, charger does because this part right here is broke. That part right there is broke. This one has been is fully charged, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I don't want it. I never wanted it, but it's charged, and this is a far better phone than uh, than that garbage that you guys are using. That government phone, which I, by the way, I know what kind of phone you guys got. You got one of these. Hey, man, we're talking about a phone, not a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> got one of these what you call them obama phones but you get these free and as long as you use it once a month or whatever leave a text or whatever then you can um you can actually um do what you got to do i actually got two of these i have to have multiple phones because i'm starting to give away my number on on, on social media again since i think it's safe now uh -oh. since dragon is done the geek room is done and the rest of them are done but i'm not using my main phone i'm using these things now so, and then I have other ways I can call people in here too without using my main phone. So, this is the kind of phone. Well, I, I don't know if you if you can have multiple of those, uh, but whatever. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's different laws in different states. But uh, so let me just make sure that that was all before I put in my two cents on that. Ones that they're using. This okay. is the one they brought from Boulder, Colorado, and this was Zachary's. And as you can see, I just cut it on. Yeah, I'm always fired. Hey, Massey, I, I thought that you were going to... Um, I thought you had another uh, prior engagement going on, but I'm glad that you were able to uh, make it. But definitely, you, you know, Massey, if you have an appointment, you know, you can always catch the replay. Um, you know, I'm saying you always want to do real life first. But listen, I appreciate you coming in uh, no matter what. But like I say, like I always say, please... Take care of real life first before you get into the mud and play with all of us. I don't want this phone, but I will gladly get this back to you, Rev, since it was your money that paid for this. Mm -hmm. Jenny Definitely ain't paid wrong. for nothing. So all you got to do is contact me, um, and I'll give it back to you. Oh, it was yesterday. I'm not coming oh, over thanks, here because I don't trust you or your psychotic woman, but I'll give this uh, back to you. Mm -hmm. All right. I can mail it there. I know how to do that still. But you're going to have to contact me and you're going to have to talk to me in order to get it. But um, I found a way to charge it. And what I do is I...
Uh, yeah, it should be manic level at a peak. <laughs> manic energy at a peak level. Well, uh, are you talking about about him? You know, uh, he says he doesn't drink or partake in the devil's lettuce or the devil's dandruff or the devil's anything. You know, he's a Christian. Um, he doesn't even partake in, in the uh, sexual prowess of a female or even a male or even a, in between. <laughs> He's just G-Man. He's just full of energy, you know, naturally high, as some people say. I do this. Let me show you. I have a wireless, one of these wireless okay. pads. All you do is lay the phone on this over here. All right. Charge. And I know back in the day, mm -hmm. I tried to get this. I tried to get somebody to look at it, and it was too much money, I think, at the time. Now. For me to do it. Go on. So that port right there is like $140 to replace. It's a type C port. Uh, they break on that phone all the time. You know, Apple phones, people swear by them. I had one, I had the five, uh, and I've been with Android ever since. It's just, you can do more, you have more of a freedom on Android, but if you're not up to, you know, sailing the high seas are, <laughs> then you really don't need that and you can deal with that expensive Apple stuff. But side note, I don't like that apples have a file in there called bra. Even if you don't put the file in there, it's just like weird. Like it's taking, keeping photos of people's women's bras and underwear. Now, don't take my word for it. Please look it up. But I thought that was really sketchy. But I wanted to go into this, but let me just make sure that this is really it. Uh, uh, or this is all he's going to talk about with the phone. But I got a wireless pad. I put it on there and it started charging. It took... 10 hours, but it charged. <laughs> it charged fully. He's got such wide oh, eyes. Very interesting. <laughs> Energy indeed. I like the right background. Now I got my I got my main phone on the um on it right now and it's charging it just fine. I don't this is my main phone. What the heck? He's like, why is Shane talking? Well, anyway, going back into this. I all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. So my thing with this was there's a phone out there. There's a phone. And I, at first I'm like, Rev, your finances or lack of there of uh, lack thereof suck. Like he lost all his money during the crypto currency. And you know what? <laughs> By the way, side note, if people do have crypto from then, it's starting to go up. I think Rev sold them all at a bad time. So he really wasn't great with a uh, crypto or a you know, stocks. Stuff like that. He doesn't know how that works, you know? Buy low, sell high, really. That's all you need. really need to know about it. He sold them. He lost a lot of money. He gave away his house. And I don't It wasn't a dollar. I talked to G-Man about this. It wasn't a lot of money, but it was no dollar. But it was such a small amount of money that he wouldn't have to worry about um, you know, the taxes and all that, because he said that the house was in disrepair. They wanted to tear it down. And for whatever reason, instead of Rev saying, I'll, I'll take 30 grand to fix this house, to make it habitable, to live in, to not get torn down, we can live here and I can get Shani a medical marijuana card. And I could also be on that card as the caregiver to pick it up where she doesn't even have to even go to that, to the dispensary, but I'm sure she would have liked it. They had that, yes, back then. But you had to see a, a doctor. But, you know, if she would have said Mafibro, <laughs> rheumatologist for Mafibro, uh, again, um, not for BPD, that's a mental thing, uh, but Mafibro, definitely. Um, it, she could have gotten it for that. So she didn't have to run away to Colorado to avoid CPS taking her kids away. And all that, it's just, what did that do? Nothing. But, um, what is it to do with the phone? Same thing. He could have sold his phone the worst uh, or the best about a grand. I mean, maybe they were close to two grand, brand new, 1600. I mean, you guys, I don't know that uh, phone. If anyone does, let me know in the chat uh, or in the comments. The worst 500. He wanted him to, he said he wanted him to throw that away. Again, why? It, like, you know, the stupidity of him, you know, of, of Rev and Shani always out coming out begging for money when they had gold mines of things all around them. You know, if they stunk or not, you know, you could power wash things, you can clean things, you can rub in, rub in alcohol, all that. If it's electronic equipment, there's ways to clean things to still make money. And 
it, but when I saw this phone, my first thought was, is there any incriminating evidence? Did, did uh, the, the boy that he just mentioned, I'm not going to uh, say his name, if he recorded anything, if he said anything in a text message, like my mother's abusive, my father, my stepfather's abusive, or my mother's boyfriend's abusive, or they're both abusive, or they're, you know, it's mind games, or my mom is giving doing mind games to my stepdad slash mother's boyfriend who, uh, you know, she wants to just gas him up. I mean, I'm sure the kids know what, what their mother was all about. They were just afraid of her, just like Rev's afraid of her. But that was my thing with that. So I uh, took it upon myself to contact G-Man. And I said, what is up with that phone, man? <laughs> because I was really curious. And he said, yeah, he couldn't get it. He couldn't get it powered. But he was able to, um, he was not able to, he, he can't get into it. He doesn't know the password. I guess Rev knows the password. So I'm like, oh, okay. Because I was real curious, like, what could be on that phone? Because, you know, like, Rev, they're dumb. Don't get me wrong. But are they so dumb to not know that they could take an Apple product and sell it? Or sell it online and get a good amount of money for it? Even, if, even broken. Because people will do what G-Man did and just use the wireless. But even just paying the hundred and forty for to get for that Type C charger port to get fixed at any cell phone repair store, and there's a bunch of them where they are in PA, then they could take that out of the money uh, that they get. Even getting eight hundred, but again, I don't know what kind that is. That looked like maybe the seven. I mean, this was back a couple of years ago when the kids were still around. But that's all with that. But here, let's get into uh, yeah, let's get into th these receipts. Because there's going to be a lot of receipts. And I'm going to read them all out for you. So don't worry about that. So yeah. So again, I thought I was pretty much done with all this. But uh, I, I had to get the these uh, transcribed into uh, English. Okay. And like I said, I did redact some for... Um, just to, you know... Um, because they were had some personal things and I did, I did redact things as well, but there is per, there was some personal stuff in here and like, you know, a picture that really wasn't bad. It was a picture of a tattoo, but like Rev didn't say nothing about it until like the next page or the next screen. And then he's like, Oh, I love tattoos. But here, let's get into this. And again, Shani, if you're watching or when you watch again, I have a question for you. It's under a lot of people's opinions. And again, it's always our opinion, guys. You know, we're not bullying and harassing. We're, we are just calling out. But we are in the, in the team where we'll, we just call people out. We don't go IRL. We're not calling people's jobs and houses and, sh and stuff like that. But when people do that first, well, you know, I mean, uh, eye for an eye. <laughs> but other than that, we normally don't do stuff like that. We're trying to leave these people uh, alone. But I do want to ask Shani out there. Shani, does, do, how do you feel knowing that a lot of people don't think that Rev had that job at the Burger King? That he, if, how can he have that job at the Burger King if he was talking to you and then talking to Ashley at the same time? But here, we will get into it when, uh, when they start. So this is from October. Uh, a video was sent. I guess this was Rev. So cute, heart. And again, this just shows that um, Ashley has cats and she's into taking care of cats. So you, I guess I, I just want people to understand that, you know, a cat lover is going to try to take care of somebody, you know, if they have an animal. Now, if they had no animals and it was just themselves, that I'm sure that would have been a different story with a lot of people. Oops, sorry. But um, you better believe I've heard a lot of people say that they've given them money just for those animals. So, uh, she says, I missed your live. This was in November. How are you guys? Heart. And he says, hey, Shani. I want to make sure Shani, um, I want to make sure Shani, uh, sees when she's. Shani, uh, if you can read what it says right there, please. It says, this is from Rev, Shani. Call me when you can. Here, you know what? Hold on. I'll make it really big for you. From Rev, your boyfriend's sitting right next to you. You know, old neck 
thing. Oh, ha ha. Call me when you can. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm just pressing that, that noise unrelated. Okay. I can in five minutes. Uh-oh, Shady. <laughs> I hope she don't get slappy with him. <laughs> cool. Wow, Shady. Cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Do you know that this was happening? I mean, come on. He, you know, he's not even asking for money here at this one. Oh, and here come the calls. And then, thank you, Shani, for telling Rev. Oh, um, so Shani, um, there was a couple of messages. Like I said, it, uh, whatever I left out, I'm just going to explain because it was just... Her talking to Shani about some personal stuff in her life to just try to human and connect, show pictures of Norway and stuff. And she said, thank you, Shani, for telling Rev not to share any personal stuff about my life. Okay. Well, that's nuts. LOL. Hope you're doing well. God bless. Thanks for all... What, the money? Thanks for all the support and love. And folks, we know what that means. Um, if you can donate now, that would be awesome. Need some gas money for my job. Yo, Rev, come on, man. Come on. You know, you like, you just got money. Okay, oh, can I get some more? And she says, really nuts. I get money later today. So maybe 20. And again, so sorry for, yeah, I, uh, how I acted. I just, I just, we are here. I'm sorry, some of the things I can't understand, but I'm sure in her language it makes more. And then, Rev and Shani wasn't notified about this message because they are in quiet mode. So, you guys are going to see that a lot, this whole quiet mode nonsense. So, basically, they get money, or they ask money, you give them the money, and then they go into quiet mode. You can talk to them, talk to them, you'll get this message. But then, they'll unblock or unquiet themselves and do the same thing. But like I said, you you guys will see it. There, I didn't see Shane's PayPal request. Barely use PayPal. You got $10 now. Oh, now. Now that now he's unquiet. And he says, you are the best. Thank you. No problem. You know, and then, uh, you know, she, um, oh, no. That, because these are from Rev. So all the ones like this are from Rev. All the white, all like the white ones and all the uh, purplish ones. I'm sorry, I'm colorblind, folks. Please don't make fun of me. I'm old. Uh, but that's her. And me when I'm home. I guess, what, karaoke? Cute. Hey, Ashley. Again, Shani needs some Coke. And I don't, and you guys might have saw that one, but now you know the lead up to that. Like I said, you might see a couple, a few ones I've already showed before. So I'm just trying to give context to what we saw before. Again, it took a while to trans, uh, translate it into English. But thank you all for bearing with me, uh, getting all this stuff together. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, the, the, I don't get paid until December 19th. You got a few bucks for a Mountain Dew. It's four bucks for a two liter. Hope you're doing well and Jesus bless you. And again... Shasta Rev, it's good enough for uh the juggalos. What what? <laughs> It'll be good enough for you. I'm gonna check. I sent eight bucks. Hehe. <laughs> I get more later this week. But um uh, about the video, are you are am I forgiven? I didn't try to seduce you. And again, if if Rev, Shani, if you guys were so butthurt about pictures and stuff, why are you still asking? Why are you still asking for money? It because it was okay. And th that's the point I'm just trying to make, folks. But you guys know that. I'm going to check. Send eight bucks. Uh, I ain't trying to seduce you. <laughs> uh, then she shows like a picture of, uh, I think that's called a uh, Tragus? Is that the Tragus uh, piercing? I wouldn't go for that. That hurts. Um, and then just pitch, just random stuff. Rev, uh, Rev says, cool. Heart. Yeah, so Shani, every time, every time you, uh, uh, I mean, I just need to show this just real quick. Just, just real quick. Just, uh, 
it makes a lot of sense with what I'm talking about um, here with uh, with all this. Like I said, just two seconds. I put it the wrong way. I should have just told her again and said, "Look, I don't. We don't want to ever see anything like that shit ever again." No, you do want to see that shit. That's the problem. See. See? Because you wouldn't say send the pics here. She puts intentions on me, Dude, and then that's you. gaslighting. No, it's not. She puts intentions on me, insists it's the case, and that's it. I'm well, done. I'm not going to discuss it, it anymore. Why would you want another woman's photos? I don't want them. Then why would you say send them here? I love big letters. I love tattoos and seeing them. And hearts and hearts. So just, just so you know, tattoos and seeing them and hearts. Like I said, I just want to take their words for it to so to use so I can use their own words against them. So back to this, um, and and she's right. You know, to give Shani Shani, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of credit. You're right. Rev likes to use the heart emojis right there. Hey, do you have a few extra bucks for some food? <laughs> We're broke for the month. God bless. My God, every time. 22 days. And, and, and again, it's not like I'm getting presents for my kids. I bought something expensive for Shani for Christmas. It's just I'm broke. Delta 8. Uh, hey, I just have this now. Hope it's okay. And again, um, don't know what um, how much it is. We're broke. Oh. This okay, so here we go, guys. Here we go with the um, and again, uh, Ashley, I am I'm sorry that you had to, you know, I'm sorry that this went down. I'm sorry that this has to be involved with with the receipts. You know, again, I'm, I don't want to uh, prioritize that. I just want to show the uh, what happened and why things took a turn. You know, why she realized that she was giving them way too much money even though she's trolling them because they didn't really give a crap that she had a, a, a parent loss in her family. And again, you would think because a Rev lost both of his parents, she only lost both of hers, they would be sympathetic. No. Thank you for your prayers. It's hard going to be, it's going to be hard for Christmas. I bet. I had to buy everything for everyone and ship around food and stuff. My brother is older than me. But he has never been alone before now. So I have to help him also with everything. Hope he can go to the store today. For us, he he's tired as, as F. I'll, I'll see tomorrow if I have some extra money left. See, still. So, Rev, who trolled who here? Who trolled who here? Because she still feels bad for you, you losers. Ne next payday is, is a January 20th. Only time, only one time every month. Hope you get a job or make money from YouTube. I guess she didn't know he was not on YouTube, but you know whatever they're on Instagram, which I don't know if you get money for, uh, besides getting their little PayPal donations and stuff. But other than that, hope you get a job, uh, or something. You and Shani should yeah go live and maybe use TikTok. I don't use it because I don't know how. And he says, you're so sweet. You really are one of the ones helping us now. So whatever you can send is a huge blessing. <laughs> huge blessing. Sure, sure, Rev. And Merry Christmas. Okay. Uh, you're, you're so, uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're so sweet. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I'm hoping to hear from GameStop. Yeah, okay. Rev, don't you know GameStop's like a dead, you know, store? I mean, once the once places start to sell Funko Pops, which is also dead, you know that that store is kind of on the way out. And it's unfortunate. I always loved GameStop. I just didn't love them pushing uh, those dumb magazines on me. But other than that, it was a decent store. I've always wanted to work at a video game store. LOL. That's Rev. Heart. So every time Shani said that, and he was like, no, uh, Rev, what do you call that? Is this an upside down butt? Are those, are those red boobs? If that's not a heart, what is that? Just asking. No problem. He, he, 
that would be amazing. Important to work with something you guys love. I worked as a doctor's assistant before I got sick. This is uh, Ashley talking. I love to yeah draw blood and give people shots. I actually like to work at the old people's home. Also, uh, different jobs, but the ones was best. And it's just so funny. Like she actually you know talked about that. But again, do you see? They don't have money. She doesn't have money to give them. This wasn't notified be about this message because you're in quiet mode. Yo, that is such a dick thing to do. You know, this person's like talking about some real stuff. You guys are asking for money when they can't pay you because a couple, you know, the, you know it's too early or she already gave you guys money that week. You guys turn on the quiet mode. Like to me, that's a damn slap in the face. <laughs> okay and then okay here please pray for my mom and dad this is when things are really getting a lot more serious and i played in the last video if you guys didn't watch it i played this one where rev says something about that but please pray they're in the hospital uh mom's in the hospital nurse home with blood poisoning my dad is, is on oxygen but feeling better uh, just have to wear my poker face in front of my kids, not cry, and just, yeah, make Christmas food and celebrate. Here we celebrate at the night, Christmas Eve, and open the presents then. And sleep uh, a long time, a long time, the first day of Christmas. So see, uh, Shani, this is what you do when, when stuff around you is falling apart. You don't cry in front of your kids to make it all about you. You don't make them feel bad. You don't go after your ex-husband or your ex-husband's brother with a butcher knife or a cleaver or an axe. No, you adult up and you act like a, a friggin' adult. I don't understand. It's not even just Shani. There's a couple adults out there claiming BPD, claiming Mafi, bro, and can't uh, separate kids from adults. They're your kids. You're the parent. They're the kid. They're not your friend. They are your children. Especially if they're under the age of 18. They can't handle adult stuff. Now you have, a, you have an 18 year old, 19 year old that you want to fill in on what's really going on within the family and family structure. I get it. That's fine. But a 12 year old, an 8 year old, a 14 year old. No. They, are, they have... They have they're growing up. They have puberty to deal with. They have their friends to deal with. They have bullies to deal with. They don't need that BS, Shani. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Yeah, like would be perfect for you and Shani and the benefits. And again, she was trying, like, you know, she's talking up Norway. And Rev says, I wish I, I uh, for the best that I pray for you. Okay. So he does give something and then she says well thank you my mom passed away an hour ago so it's just went down it literally just went down but yeah but i should yeah visit my dad make sure he is taking care of at the hospital and start planning for the funeral and surprise surprise real Reverend shanny wasn't notified about that message because they're <laughs> effing a-holes they're in quiet mode. Doesn't matter if the world is ending or the world's ending for you personally because you don't have any money to give them. Really, that's what that should say. And that's what it says to me. You guys just can't see it the right way. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. So oh, now they're sending love and prayers. What is this? Uh, the next day, the next day. Hey, Rev. Fuck you. Like, seriously, the next day, you dickhole. But if she, oh, and then he follows it up. You, oh, mm, Rev, you, what, what happened? What happened, Rev? Shani, uh, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm talking to uh, Ashley. She just lost her mom. And, and what did Shani say to you? Food, I have to have food. <laughs> uh, if you have some extra money, we're out of EBT. Ha ha, must suck to suck. Until after the first. You're the only person helping us. God bless. God. 
which I doubt that. Rev, G-Man even said yesterday, you have your uncle paying. He gave you guys $400, uh, what, recently, last month? Because you needed something, and it went into Shani's hands. Because Shani is, as, has uh, convinced Rev Riff Raff that he can't be trusted with money. That he's just going to throw it away or give it to some fatso. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, thank you, Mousy. I oh, Paul, you're in here. Sorry, I've been, I've been focusing on the uh, what do you call it? Uh, one second. I've been focusing on the receipts here. But yeah, with me, I just I feel like um, uh, with these two, it just really uh pisses me off. Let me just uh do this. Pretty quick. Get to my live stream part. That is the easiest way for people who also live stream. Uh, besides going onto your phone, if you're watching on your phone, you can just click the thing on your phone and give somebody a um a wrench. Or uh that's when you can also do the uh uh, what do you call it? The polls and stuff like that. Add slow mode on if you have over two hundred people. You know, just stuff you'd want to do if if the if the chat's going by way too fast. And that really is for the uh, benefit for your you know mods. Eight hundred bucks. I spent a hundred. Man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. <gasps> Mousy squirrely chipmunk donated five dollars. He gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. He said you'd give him a few weeks ago. Yes, I know, Mousy. I am sorry. <laughs> He's gonna beat me. Mousy's gonna beat me. Here, I will work on it. Um, I, I got my phone on, but uh, here I'll do that while I'm while I'm reading this. But thank you, though, Mousy. Seriously, you know that. Uh, but uh. Let's see. Let's go. I'm just so involved with what's happening here. Uh, oh my god, I'm sorry. Sending love and prayers. Yeah, the EBT. Blyde. BRB. Oh, she went to... She was at... She was at the drugstore? Yeah, she was... Uh, Ashy was at the drugstore. Oh, by the way, guys. Uh, please. Horns in the chat if you're getting these annoying FanDuel commercials. And when I mean annoying, like nonstop FanDuel. I don't do fantasy football. I hate football uh, personally. I didn't even watch the Super Bowl. And so the last thing I need is FanDuel. <laughs> but you guys just let me know if they just annoy you. There's a lot of FanDuel uh, gambling just, um, ads. But anyway, I'll check. Oh, thank you, Danielle. Danielle has just donated $4.99 through Super Chat. Hey, Draven. I thought it was at 12 to 5 my time. But I'm here. I've been slacking. I uh -huh. prom e Sadie wouldn't let you down, and I won't. Oh, well, thank you, Danielle. I appreciate that. Oh, hey, hamburgers. What's up? I just noticed that you're in the chat, too. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, Danielle. No, uh, yeah, that was 1 p.m. I'm sorry about that. If I didn't uh, clarify, I was trying to, uh, there you go, pulse. Now you are part of the thing to make us proud, yeah? Okay. <laughs> See you <through> gypsy take. <laughs> oh, yeah, when I get focused on trying to do the, um, what do you call it? The, um, the, the uh, messages. Which probably most of this is going to be messages. I just kind of get hyper focused and making sure you guys get a clear picture of what was happening. So she says, I will check. I don't think so before maybe later today or two of January. So second in January. Because they keep begging for money, begging for money. You a holes, Rev. 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 This is what I think when I think of you. This is what I think. When I think of you, 
Okay, all you care about is money and being a stormtrooper naked. But dude, what would a stormtrooper do be doing with a lightsaber? Like the whole thing doesn't even make any sense. I think you just wanted to be naked. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Rev and Shady wasn't notified. Oh, of course they weren't because she said she couldn't help them. Asshole, you're amazing. I think the U.S. might declare bankruptcy soon. They delayed our food stamps. <laughs> oh my god, that is that's beautiful. Chef's kiss. They delayed our food stamps. So they must be I guess they must be going into bankruptcy because they delayed our food stamps. <laughs> if you have extra money like If you have extra money Oh, extra yeah, I can, you're like saving our lives. Oh my god. Really, Rev? For real. It seems prices might be coming down a bit. Thank you, God. Jesus blessed you. Heart, 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 hearty, heart, heart, heart. Shani, is this what you mean by the hearts? Shani, tell us about the hearts. Oh, I don't have it right now. I hope you can get some food with that 10 dollars and once again people once again people i know it says 29 there i'm sorry here i will fucking make it bigger for you what does that say what does that say these a-holes weren't notified because unless it says oh i have money for you right now they don't give a f do you want to turn on quiet mode <laughs> so you don't have to listen to these grifters it just really pisses me off, man. It, and then she gives a picture, but it really does. It really does. So, um, you know, I oh, I hope you can get something for the ten dollars. So that, and then they didn't get it January seventh, and then January eighth again. This this is another pattern. Uh, they wait a whole day. Miss uh, uh, all my old jobs. Now I look like a dumpster fire. See, at least she's like saying, you know, I miss working. Because that's normal, Rev. Shani. You worked in health also, Shani, right? <laughs> oh, Shani did, yes. I thought he was going to say Shani got food with that $10. But she probably got Delta 8. My Rev ate peanut butter out of the fucking jar. Um, okay, so right here. And again. I'm really sorry that this has to be included, but I'm just trying to be transparent. She gave me the, the things. Um, she was just showing, proving that she there's a death in the family. So beautiful. My thoughts and prayers are with you. If you want to chat with me, how eat your beaver pleaser. And I left this in for one reason. Rev, you can't say that Shani, 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 you're, you're watching, right? Please read this. You, he claimed to you, Shani, that he only gave his eager beaver pleaser number of uh, email. Why? Come on, folks. Why? Because to send pictures to this email, right? Or am I crazy? But no. If you want another place to chat with me, email me at the eager beaver beaver. I'll see you that quicker. I've really been thinking about moving to Norway. <laughs> this country's so effing a joke now. I love to start fresh somewhere new without Shani. <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah, I, it's not connected. I'm just being silly. So beautiful. My thoughts and prayers are with you. You want another place to chat? Oh, okay. So, oh, somewhere new. Cool pics you sent. So you, okay, so boom. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but it just proves, folks, it just proves that Rev is lying. I mean, of course he's lying. It was to talk to him without Shani seeing it. Plain and simple, Shani, right here. How much bigger do you need? As big as your big ass? How much bigger do you need this? Shani to see. Cool pics sent. So you were a model? You're gorgeous! 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 
<laughs> Gorgeous! And you <laughs> still are! Oh, 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 oh. The beatdown you're gonna get tonight, Rev. Oh, chef's kiss. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't want no one to get hurt, especially you, Rev. No, I'm not. I would never want that. Yes, I do. I would never. No, no, I don't condone the violence. Oh, yes, I do. But you know what? It's just, Shani, you do you, Shani, okay? Shani, you do you. You ain't no dumpster fire. Not like my girlfriend. <laughs> Jesus, heal you and bless you. Because <laughs> you just healed this baby carrot. I thought it was dead. I look at Shani every day and it hides and recoils back into me. I see you and now I get movement again. Praise Jesus, my penis works. <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun with this. And yeah, I'm showing another picture of Norway. I could see my future. Rev, Rev, you are so in the in the doghouse, and I'm so glad for you. Thank you for that. As big as you're big. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, I was, but then, well, that's in the past, thankfully. Or yeah, I looked like that still. But yeah, pain all over my body. Hey, you should understand, right? right, right my fibro, my, my, my BPD, my, my pains, my, my skin cancers, my other things. N not, nothing to do with her, like, possible type 2 diabetes and obesity. No. Every single day. So yeah. How are you doing? Uh, I just call my ex baby dad. Okay, so this is where uh, she does go into a scenario talking about that she had a problem with the ex. Now, folks, pay close attention to this because I thought this was interesting. I did. I thought that this was very interesting because we all know Rev, right? I mean, if, if you guys need a... If you guys need a, a crash course, again, with Rev or... Revelina, <laughs> or any of, any of that. Um, just to show you. Simple assault, has harassment, physical strike, kick. Okay. Uh, Shannon, Jason, and PA, and he attacked uh her child. So just just to just to give you a little background, and that's public record. So, um, but what does Rev say about that? Well, F. Sorry about that. Is he a threatening person? You mean like does he like uh kick kids in the ribs type of thing? You know, does I mean it, it, Rev? Is that what you mean? Are <laughs> It, like I, I'm just wondering if, if if that's what you're talking about. If you're talking about like a piece of crap that's gonna kick a kid, and I feel be... like a real man when I'm kicking kids. I don't know, maybe. I really feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. I don't know, maybe. I really feel I mean, like, like this real type man of guy when I'm kicking kids. I don't know, maybe. I really feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. I don't know, maybe. Is that the type of guy you're talking about, Rev? I mean, I'm just curious. I I, I don't know. I need visual aids because of my ADD. So I'm sorry. Don't take offense, okay? I'm not bullying. I just am comparing. I have a baseball bat. Good for you, Ash. And my my brother is going to buy me a medal. <laughs> awesome. But he is not like that. No crime, Nora. But words hurt more than... Yeah, words do hurt. Uh, I'm going to call cops... The stepmom, they don't hurt her physical, but they uh, but say stuff and scream. And yeah, around her and her siblings there. So I want to protect them, even though they are, they're not my kids, but they are my daughter's siblings. I'm so sorry. Hope things get better. Uh, smiley face. I mean, okay. Not that like, you know, I have a, uh, um, ah, uh, ah. Uh, See how now I'm doing it. Uh, like, I have a, a background in, in, in abusing children. And, you know, he used to, like, 
go to some sort of therapy or anger management. He's just like, I'm sorry. I hope things get better. I'm smart. It, it's smart to call CPS on him for abusive behavior. They can help. Wow. Ain't that the cop? Um, ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? Ain't that the meth calling the, you know, Todd Michael Schultz? <laughs> like, seriously, dude? Dude. Like, what? Like, seriously? So, Rev, you get mad when other people call CPS on you. But you're going to throw out that, that, uh, that, um, advice. Yeah, they, they are mean if you fart in the wrong way. Yeah. It's 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 a lot more serious apparently over there. Um, uh, they just call and yeah are mean to my daughter verbally and her new stepmom. I wish she was there with his ex. There's a good stepmom. The new one is a witch and says a lot. My daughter love everyone. Not this woman. She liked those two before. They were uh pretty on the inside and outside. Really sad. My son, stepmom, all of this were nice. All, all, also, like my daughter's last ones. So yeah, I haven't touched a man like eight years. If he's abusive on the phone with your daughter, they'll definitely help. Yeah, Rev knows all about that. <laughs> uh, like, Rev, come on. Come on. I can't believe like you say stuff like this and you like you were charged with that. It was Shane just didn't press any charges. I don't want to be before. I'm sure he's a good fit. Those dads like here, I am. Ha ha. I don't blame you. Men are gross. <laughs> yeah. Are, but all, but, but not all are. Or whatever. And yes, this is Rev. Rev, you're, you're really reaching calling yourself a man. Men could be gross, but men boys are just pathetic. Am I afraiding meaning a chomo? That's also fair. Sure, that makes sense. There's a lot of chomos out there. Okay. Uh, so yeah, my plan is a date now because my kids... See, guys, I hope the ones that saw this, just, like, this is a more coherent list. So sorry about them before. And again, I'm just going to keep reiterating. Uh, this stuff had to be translated. But, um, you know, better late than ever. Or date later than they are older. Old enough to hit them if they are creeps. Hee <laughs> hee. I hear you! <laughs> Yo! Jerk off? Why is that funny? Why is that funny? Like, I did I... Did I not just show you guys? I mean... Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> like, I'm getting angry now. Oh, Rabbit Old Bat, welcome to the Cryptos. Uh, or, unless you were in it, I can't even remember. I'm sorry, but thank you. Uh, harassment, physical strike, kick, simple assault. Rev, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? This is two years ago. This, this is like somebody else who laughs about stuff. And even though they have a recent offense on their record why are you laughing i'm sorry that just really gets me angry really like what and a heart you put a heart or i'm sorry upside down boobs i guess because you don't think that that's a heart weirdo lots of pervs out there now that's what rev says yeah because of the internet yep actually i had a gay friend from childhood he was there for me always um uh, I don't know what's up. Let's keep going. After that, trust issues. But he did that where a little. Well, praise Jesus for that, says Rev. And it completely ignored my door. But yeah, I get it. But how are Shani do? What's Shani doing? So she actually asks, what's up with Shani during our conversation right now? Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Rev. You, you, you jack off. No money for food. We're doing our best. I got a personal assistant gig. What? Dude, you, you, you're such a liar. Recently, but no pay yet. 
because the banks are closed for MLK Day. And you know how Rev feels about MLK Day. Ah, I'm also broke, but I have food here. So, haha. -ha. But I don't have any appetite. If I live near you guys, I could give you some. Uh oh. Now, she shows that she has no broke. Or <laughs> she has no broke. She has no money. I, I have no sleep. <laughs> the only account with money is my kids, and it's closed. So, you know what? Good that you keep that separate. Void temptation and all, and you you know that that's where it needs to go. So you know what? Good for you. That's something more than I could say about Rev and Shady. They didn't have a whole separate account. I see. It seems like everyone is broke these days. I kind of wonder if I'm gonna go ask about a food about a food because like food that is good at meat and not ex expired. Thank God they have that here also, not just. Okay, so uh, she was talking about the war, and you would think with Rev, he'd be into that, because he's Rev. But no, what does he say here? I got some stuff to do. I'll be back later. Yo, Rev, peace sign, hearts, and another heart. Stop saying you didn't do hearts. You lied. You lied. Well, of course you lied. But still, still, uh, you de Shane definitely deserved some of that, but you were mean on other ways. So, uh, what do you guys think about this headstone? Oh, so she was asking about the headstone for her, her parent. My dad wanted for my mom and him and her and my brother's grave. Going to cost like thirty two hundred dollars. Worth it, so my kids don't have to spend a lot of money when I pass. Um, beautiful. That, uh, well, wow, that's beautiful. You could send 20 or 17 more dollars. Rev, come on. Like, you know what? No matter what you thought about the situation, Rev, no matter what you thought about me or Ashley or Carrie or anybody, she is proving to you that she just lost a parent and that she needs to spend... $3,200 for the stone that she has to take care of her brother and that there's no money coming in. Like, there is no uh, life insurance policy. It's all coming out of her pocket. And you're still like, could you send 20 or 17 more dollars? You're a scumbag, man. Like, really, this is scumbag behavior. You'd be my hero. We need some things for the house. What do you need for, what do you need for the house? It's just you and Shady sitting on that couch. You know that couch that you were like, how dare Shady put her big ass on the couch that she peed all over? It, 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 it leaked right through her diaper. That, that house with that gross couch. You know, the only thing I would think you need for that house is, uh, I don't know, a washing machine and a better vacuum. Because uh, didn't you guys break the other vacuum? God bless you. Shady really needs Benadryl. <laughs> She got bad, ew, bad itches, or bad itches. Oh, ew. ew. Benadryl helps it, and she says Benadryl. She tried to use a soap with low pH. <laughs> Jokes on you, Ashley. She don't use soap. Yo, soap is for the Illuminati, okay? And she says, I don't have money now. Not until Monday. But she already talked about that she has to spend money on a gravestone. How is she doing now, by the way? And you. We're surviving, lol. A sub. Well, now I have to pay for the internet. Always some effing bill. Good, yeah. Good, hearty Christians here that don't curse or anything. To pay. I can pay the whole thing for $46 or get a week for 11 Well, Well, there you go. I mean, internet bill call. I I'm surprised that she they can't get on that ten dollars a month internet. You get a free modem and everything. Um, man, what was I gonna just say? Something about the uh, something about the bill. She's always he's always saying he has to pay like these bills and stuff like that, but he doesn't. 
You know, it's always the uncle paying for this stuff. Oh, same here in the rent, geez. Exactly. And now I'm crying because I miss my mom. And uh, understandably, you know, she actually called me. Oh, thanks, Robin, old bat. She needs her 20 Benadryl. I know. Thanks, Rabbit on that. I appreciate the five bucks. Yo, you're right about that. You're right about that. Oh, hey, Kathleen Cruz. I just saw you up there. Uh, yeah. Oh, hamburgers. When you, when, when you get to this level, uh, yeah. Uh, what do you call it? That was one of the kids' phones. Uh, that, that G Man showed. Uh, he says it was Zach's. That they couldn't get charged. But he wirelessly charged it, but he still can't get in because he doesn't know the password. And he's saying if Rev calls him, he will uh, give it to him. But he actually, actually, actually has to have a conversation. But yeah, Rev, I don't know why you just don't do the $10 a month internet. It's a slow internet, but 10 bucks a month, they give you a free internet or a free modem, uh, Wi-Fi box. You know, it's ten bucks. You don't have to pay forty six bucks. It doesn't doesn't make any sense. But that's you all know the discrepancies with these two. Exactly. I'm so sorry. The loss gets a little better over time, but it never goes away. Heart. <laughs> but if you could spare twenty, ah! Rev, Rev. Oh, yeah. I hate this. I hate this. I hate that he's trying, like, and he'll say something nice, and then, but can you spare 20 bucks? Hey, you have 20 bucks? You'd be my hero. I'll get a week worth of internet. LOL. And the guy doesn't even stream. Waste of bandwidth. I don't know what that is, by. But uh, I can tomorrow. If you take a, If you take back what you said about me, Getting bullied. I just wanted you guys to move to Norway. If I take it back, I'd be lying. Wow. Oh, lie though. Just yeah, I was flirting. You also. Ha! Shanny. Shanny. And I swear, I swear to God, I swear on my family. I swear to God, strike me dead right now. I did not write these. These are from between Ashley and Rev and Shanny. She's saying that Rev flirted also. But I will tell people to leave you alone. But yeah, I feel so bad. I wanted Shani here too. Okay, it's all good. We're fines. I'm going to make a quick video. That's Rev talking. Live rent free with me just to pay for the food. So you can't fire. Okay. This is back to trolling um, uh, from the government. And you get like right away when you get spilling 3,000 a month. Does Shady hate me? Damn. I can't stop crying over my mom. Again, I understand that. And then here you go. Trying to get $20 now. And like I told you guys, if people don't want to believe it, if they don't want to believe it, you know, it's, it's your prerogative. But I'm trying to give you a little insight into the mind of some people, including myself. I lost um a close close family member and i went out and, and bought an expensive item <laughs> you know your brain does do that um it's just a coping mechanism trying to get 20 i'll send some tomorrow just give me another account than paypal oh you guys hope you're having going to do have a podcast i get more tomorrow only had seven to my name right now Cheaper than right, it's like four dollars for a soda. Rev says thanks. Heart smiley face. Thank you for the video. Um, and I'm so sorry, but I actually think about Norway, Sweden, or Denmark a lot better here. What do you need? I have about twenty dollars tomorrow. My condolences to you, you Shani, for losing your parents. So even she's saying, like, you know, that is you know what? Going through it now, it's like people understand what that's like. 
but uh, you know, I don't know about Rev, but I saw Shani when she had her parents alive in real time, and she had plenty of time to say goodbye to them, and she refused to get off her big butt and go to um, Minnesota at the time and say goodbye to her dad and then say goodbye to her mom. But she did have warnings and ample time by family, friends, her own uh, brother and sister. So she did have time. She just chose not to. Going to log off a bit. Kind of sick. But yeah, I probably feel better soon. And again, understandable. Oh, what was that? By the way. But right away, next comment. I ain't a sig. Bad. Come on. Lol. Could you spare just five bucks for now for some sigs? Rev, do you see that this is messed up? Uh, oh, da uh, Danielle. Uh, Shani does not think it's fake at all. The stuff she was sending. Because she, she knows that they were talking. You know what I'm saying? If you look at the other videos, Rev speaks in them. You can't fake that. You can't fake his voice. I mean, chat GPT is just not there yet. Uh, did you get to smoke? Uh, I have to ask you going to visit Norway or can I visit you guys? Because Rev was saying he wants to come and get a fresh start if you guys watched the beginning. Are you there? Are you there, Rev? We should collab on fits. <laughs> you know what? Uh, that, was, that was pretty funny. Uh, because it's like, you know, obviously, but still. Um, this made a homemade pizza. Looks like more like a lasagna, but yeah, I don't care. You should delete those. Shane isn't down with this. <laughs> but again, again, do you guys see what I was trying to say? Do you guys see now? She lost a parent, and again, I, I, I just, I, I'm, I just want to paint a picture, my own opinion. In December, she was getting ignored, and when she tried to speak about losing parents, they they uh, muted her, and then when they needed money, they unmuted her. So after dealing with that, uh, she started saying the things. And that's when all this started going down. You should delete those. Shane is, isn't down with this. But you see, it didn't, Shane didn't blow up about this until February. You know why, folks? Why didn't she? Come on. Yes, that's why. Hope the pizza was good. Yes, because he wished he had some. Oh, uh, okay. It's my body. So you see my butterfly. You know, it's, uh, where a tattoo is. Okay, okay. I understand. I was up to like, yeah, I've seen your OnlyFans and I heard you wanted a three one and mix, but now I understand. I just use regular pizza dough with tomato sauce, meat, onion, and something and cheese. But yeah, I have to meet him like, hey, uh, goodbye, I have some then, but I have seen his thing on Snapchat. And it was massive. I want to work, but I don't know what she's... Like I said, I had to skip through some stuff because it was just like, nothing really worth interesting. Remove pics just because in case. Hi, how are you doing? I could really use that 20 if you're still offering. And again, thanks for all the help you've given us. So again, Shani, she's asking, is the reason why they had to delete things... Or that Rev deleted information. So, again, uh, Shani, when you said that Rev deleted stuff, oh, hell yeah, he did. And she's saying, remove pics just in case, just to not get him in trouble. So, take this with what you will. But you know what, Shani? When you do come back, and I know you will, make sure you have some proof that Rev worked. Because we don't believe he did. And to answer these questions, because obviously they're having many conversations, and you were right. He was putting hearts everywhere. Hey, how you doing? I could really use that 20 if you're still offering. And again, thanks for all the help you've given us. He just wrote it to you. Hi, I just wrote to you. What should I do about that? Just go ahead. I mean, 
He is handsome and kind, but no problem. I don't have anything right now. If he's a nice guy and abusive. What? What? <laughs> Are you sure about that? What? Rev said, if he's a nice guy and abusive. <laughs> and then he hired it. And then he hired it. Yo, I love that. Oh, and then he realized, no, and not a <laughs> Man, that wet brain is slow. Uh, thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. D these give out middle fingers now, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's important. Actually, I don't know if he is, but he seems nice. So she was talking about another guy. Jenny's not up for some kind of friendship. Just you or none. Or no, I don't want a D pick. Watched your live now. Ooh. Is she talking about this other guy or about Rev? I don't know, Shanny. <laughs> hey, Shanny, you got to live with the dude. Okay, that's all I'm saying. And it's not my ex, a guy I want to date who wants to date me also. So, okay. Yeah, things normal, right? So yeah, no, no need to be my friend if you don't want to. I watch Stranger, and yes, who doesn't? But he doesn't. Uh, I think it was like he doesn't tell me what to do. Oh, but he doesn't know we talk. I think, and I did it because it really didn't make a difference. I didn't find out until like a little while after this. Didn't you meet over the internet also, you and Shanny? Question mark. I guess I should leave you alone then. Nice talking to you guys. So again, right there, Rev could have been like, okay, you know what? Maybe that's for the best. Thank you for all you've done. I don't know if I want to live with Shanny the rest of my life, but I need to figure that out. But your money has helped me at least to eat because... Obviously, my girlfriend's taking up a lot of room and taking up a lot of the food. But no, that's not how it went down. She doesn't have a reaction channel. And yes, if she share, I have shared with one friend some of it. I don't want to lie about stuff like that. Like you said, how can psychos get it? If I got some cash, I had to ask my uncle. So, look at that. January 24th. Hey, I finally got some money, by the way. But, like, you know, she's like, you know, go luck with everything. And as soon as the next day, hey, you're on block, LOL. Could you spare that 10 bucks for some drinks? <laughs> you're a scumbag, right? Like, seriously. Like, you could have just let it go. She, right here, Rev, gave you an out. Nice talking to you guys. You could have been like, okay, thanks for everything. I, I'm sorry the way things went down. But no. You saw your uncle. Like, I use my uncle too. Wow, that's like crazy. You're, I'm in America, and, and you're over there. And we, yeah, I mean, like, I'm living in my uncle's house, rent free. <laughs> like, seriously, what do you do with all your money, Rev? It, it, it must go to Delta Eight and possibly alcohol all day, and cigarettes. Because, like, really, you don't pay any damn bills. Well, probably the internet. Okay. I have to fix my phone. Wrong pin. Okay, cool. I have so many things. This is Rev. Need to pay for. If you could spare 40. Jeez, Rev. That would be a lifesaver. Hope you're well. Just keep on moving that goalpost. No food, no internet, and I need to pay for car insurance. Can never get ahead. Car insurance? You don't have a car, you lying asshole. And there was something here, and I respectfully uh, blocked it out. Same problem here, but now I have to pay 4000 for a headstone for my mom. So she's saying, you know, um, she, she has to pay. Don't you hate me? I was sent reaction channels and I see you hate me big time. Not my, my ex was huge. <laughs> He's a guy who asked me for 10 years to date me. Yeah, he is handsome, but... As F, but my kids are first, which is Shanny. That should have been your thing with Rev. Kids are first. We don't hate you. Reaction channels are lying sacks of poop. 
I hope your new relationship goes good. Art. Okay. Look, they are so rude. It was just dating. <laughs> Uh, the one is just like... Yeah, okay, it was just dating. That scares me. So Rev says, sounds exciting. Then he is tell one of you he saw the pics. Cool, man. You're celebrities. <laughs> I would just... Yeah. Yeah, well, they claim to be internet celebrities. Do you have anything you could spare right now? Shani's pretty hangry. <laughs> She's gonna beat me. The first who is flying he he in, in the video. I understand. Maybe tomorrow I have to ask my uncle. Got drawn from Netflix Spotify. They don't ask you to do it. I feel yeah, those things just take. Like you, Rev. You're like the Netflix and Spotify. You just take. Yeah, I want them, but F. Wait until I have more money. Okay, thanks. I gotta go. Raise my oh. Rev, it's it's called raising money. Begging online is raising money. So, oh, and this is where she was just showing him some food from Norway. You could do a Shani and Rev try Norwegian goodies. So she's like, "Hey, I can send these." Now, remember when Shani said, "You idiot! I know where you live. I'm gonna call the Norwegian police." You guys remember that, right? You remember that? Pardon me, uh, But you guys remember that when she was like, I know where you live uh, to Ashley. Shani said that. Well, guess what, Shani? She knows where you live because Rev, and I blocked it out. So see, I, I'm not a dick. They, Rev said that would be awesome. Our address is blank, 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 PA, blank, blank, blank. And a big old heart with that. Even though he says it isn't hard for everything. Because he wanted Ashley to send you guys Norwegian food. I if I, I'll send something to the cats also. Is there anything that you need that I could send for you both and the cats? Norwegian goodies, as I said, try them on cam. Live reaction. Everyone loves Smash -o? I don't know. I guess it's Norwegian milk chocolate. Sounds pretty decent. I know in Europe and Norway they have really, really good uh chocolate. Hey, anything you want to send us that's legal, send. Well, we definitely do a video trying the, the Norse snacks. Okay, you have to see this. That's the one that did go back. He was in a hotel, four-star hotel. Let's see. So after this, no one dared to go back, even when it's like a hostel. Yay. Uh... Love to see that. Google it every time I see on you. Every time on YouTube, he <laughs> and then Rev, we're really hurting right now. So if you could hit us with some money, he <laughs> at some point you sent like fifty bucks to us a couple of times. That would really help us right now. God bless heart and all that stuff to try to show that they're Christians. Rev, I thought you only got fifty bucks one time. You guys were like, wow, fifty dollars. Oh, now I have this just to show you guys something very important. Something I've been saying all along. I actually don't know how much I've sent before. You guys seeing a pattern here? And like I'm saying, it's a, I'm not singling out anybody. I'm saying this is a normal behavior. You lose somebody, you will just start frivolously sending money, paying for stuff, buying stuff that are maybe might be you know, uh, below or above your means. It's very, very normal. It's a way of coping with your situation. This a-hole keeps, you know, it's like the worst time to be asking for money. She says she's got to pay thousands of dollars in headstones. She has to make sure that her, her, her mother's uh, thing is paid off. And all the bills are paid off. Like, Rev, not everyone had a silver spoon of life insurance to pay all pay off all outstanding debts like you did. I promise. He, he, I don't have anything now until 15th, 16th of February. I only get $100 every Monday. I have a... I don't know what that is for a veteran. Willing after my mom died. 
That's why I can't send something. That's why I can't send something before then. And she says, I can show you if he's if he doesn't believe. I'm sad, but yeah, it's gonna it's going up and down every day. First I cry and feeling bad for having a good day. Get a little bit, but it's again. I just want everyone to take the only thing to really take away from this is he saw a vulnerable woman that was going through something. And rather than him just walk away, leave it alone, he kept pushing for more money. He wanted to uh milk this dry. For real. I mean, in my opinion, of course, guys. And uh, anyone, please uh, leave a like if you haven't. And subscribe if you haven't. Thank you all for being here. 146, that is awesome. Uh, I get a little bit, but she had uh, she had debt. Exactly. Rev, you don't understand that because you had life insurance to pay for all that. So yeah, my dad got some money. I haven't thought about that yet. But yeah, I have to do everything Pay for the funeral, pay for the headstone, make sure my dad does not get her debt, and that he got some money from his former work. I see. Well, if you ever want to talk about loss, I'm here for you, Rev. And again, Shani, Shani, he's saying if you want to talk, if you want to not just send pictures, but talk to Rev privately, you know, talk to the eager beaver pleaser because he likes to please eager beavers. <laughs> and gives that out. God bless you. Okay. Uh, maybe I want to, but still not know. Who am I talking to now? I hope Shanny. She sometimes she didn't even know. But yeah, look at this. It's like rubbing salt in the wounds. I've already ordered a stove, but they keep sending more groceries, brochures. And uh, here's one thing I want to keep in. There's no, nothing bad. It's just uh, her with, uh, I guess, her guy friend in Norway. Just showing that. And she's, I live in inland. I think it's like the middle of Norway. A lot of beautiful places here. And Rev says, yeah, incredible scenery, heart. Hey, Shani, uh, I love this for you. I love this for you. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that one. Same here. Shani and I both are horror nuts. Of course you are. You guys live. It's, it, it's, your life is a damn horror show. Because she says, yes, it's one of those things from the wrong term movie. Love horror movies. I had to have a string from my mattress or else I would be down the river. Aha. Aha. My brother also had, ha he has a lot of stuff from Saw and yeah. But yeah, to the camp, I'm so scared. Shane, he loves the Saw movies. And again, not surprised. I want to sleep at the Cecil. Ugh. I don't know about that. Don't, don't drink the water. But yeah, to the camp. Uh oh, okay. Uh, oh, but with four friends and using handcuffs, if not, no, to make sure we are not separate. Aha. Uh -huh. And I will be sleeping in the middle. Do you like history? Here in Toto, we have our own uh, town kind of museum from the 1700s to 1800s. That's kind of cool. Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah, I fast forward to um. She was showing a couple pictures of just like the scenery. Nothing that big of a deal. Rev wasn't talking at all. Then he said, I'm sorry, is that scary? She says, no, it's beautiful around here. They're traveling back in time, I'm sure. Yeah, if it is, if you heard the story, it would be like, F no. Oh, uh, and um, she was telling Rev a story about a rich man that had a lot of servants and a wife. And he just kind of like did something bad to the servants and kids and stuff it's just bad i just wanted to kind of uh yeah if you want to read it you can read it i'm not gonna read it rev just said oh boy i mean i i just hit kids i would never hurt them like that <laughs> uh that's f it's so creepy there but yeah so again she was talking about an area that there was a a murder 
So again, if you want to read that, I will show you. Just to try to keep to transparency. Wow, they found newborns inside the wall. Well, yeah, that's crazy. That's horrifying. I bet the wife was a minister of the law, but again, nothing to do with them. I'm just, I'm just showing. Those person do not work. I told my brother next time we have to be heart starter. I bet scary stuff. See, I bet scary stuff. And uh, this is interesting. She starts starts talking about, talking about all the abandoned houses in Norway, and of course that you know that um. Uh, Makes uh, Rev kind of interested. Such a, 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 a wussy, but with a heart starter, I would feel safe. A lot of abandoned houses are here. That we have climbed into. So creepy. I love stuff like that. But now I will not fit through a window. The place. And, um, so yeah, when we get to know each other better, I will gladly pay for a trip here. But you have to sleep here and I can sleep at my dad or something. Or... Here, up to you. Or rent an Airbnb. This year or the year after. Or, and Rev, Rev says, Shanny, that would be sick. Big ass heart. To Norway. And back after a week, you can change the airplane tickets. Uh, if you want to go home before. If you're seeing ghosts, haha. Just ask and I can show you my apartment. Messy right now, but he he. By the way, do you have any passports? If not, how much does it cost? Here, it's around 50 bucks. And being in Norway, they don't care, don't need a visa. So, if it lasts 69 days, and yet, like, no need for that. He he. No, we don't have passports. We're piss broke. Yet. But that's no big deal. I think we can get them at the drugstore for like 20 bucks a piece. Something like that. It's a little bit more than that, Rev. Wow, that's cheap. We have to go to the police and then get a passport there and our fingerprints. I don't think you can get it at a drugstore. Do you mean post office, Rev? Oh. So that's that. And then all of a sudden, we know who this is. We know who this is. Does Jason want to be with you? I saw he gave you his email. Yeah. Many times, Shani, you should have re uh, looked back. But I get, it looks like uh, Rev deleted, dirty deleted a lot. You send anything? Has he sent you a baby carrot pick? To be honest, I don't know. I know he hasn't sent me any carrot picks. But I've only seen it on the OnlyFans. Well, your OnlyFans. Stuff on Twitter. Gross stuff. Yeah, I sent some pics in an email. Again, at least he's being honest. I got the email for three weeks ago and something. It was around the time my mom passed. But again, Shani, it's not because it, it's more than just pictures. He said, to, if you want to talk to me privately, here it is. So again, you got to do what you got to do uh, to Rev. Because it's not just pictures. It was private conversations. What kind of pics? I think I erased them. The ones I sent here, but also pics like this. And then she showed some. It's me and a friend. It's blonde. Okay, I just don't understand. He would do something behind my back like that. Sh Shani, he doesn't want to be with you anymore. You know, whether you want to believe it, whether you want to say trolls are doing it, he doesn't want to... He doesn't want to be with you anymore. It's for, like, for real. Like... Why would he? You ruined his life. Uh, he ruins your life. You guys ruin each other's life. And it's probably best to just move on. Both of you. Because Rev does not want to deal uh, with this. He knows that if he kicks you out, he probably can prolong more time in that house. Because the uncle probably will let you stay. Let him stay without you. Because let's, come on, let's be, let's be straight here. Uh, you're the one who's probably gathering up all the smells. I woke up to a poop show. A traitor or what's his name guy? Sounds so angry all the time. Anyway, he posted a bit of you fighting. 
Yes, it was hilarious. Has it happened before? She had, yes, it's happened before. How many times? Uh oh. It's like he's sniffing. It's several now. Oh shit. It breaks my heart. Sniffing around? Yeah. My ex did the same 10 years ago, six or seven times emotional cheating. I did finally left, but it was my fault. Because I was not pretty enough, smart enough. But doggone it, people like me. <laughs> Sorry, that's just a silent live reference. I was stupid and believed it, but yeah, you're not what they say you are if you say anything mean. He was so mean to me. And Shani, do you really feel like you did nothing wrong in that scenario? Do you really? You gaslit him up because you knew you were losing that fight. And then I find this link to a hookup site. And again, Shani, no one did that. That was Rev. And I think when you found all these links and all this stuff and all these things with you, with him and Ashley talking, I think he blamed it all on her. It was easy. But Shani, he's trying to replace you. You should do the right, the smart, not the right, you should do the smart thing and replace him as well. Just saying. I'm devastated and he's denying everything. Of course he is. You're a linebacker. He doesn't want you to, you know, do that stuff. <laughs> uh, it was all about trolls who made a positive profile or do you think he did it? Like, even I would never do stuff like that. No one did that. No one did that, Shani. Rev did that. My ex had match. This was his profile before Tinder. She says he was clicking on the links. Well, there you go. <laughs> he was clicking on the links. <laughs> if, Shani, if, I have a question. I have a question. If other people made the um the match or whatever profile why was he clicking on the links why would he click on it if somebody else made it that doesn't make any sense he would have to open it up and make a password which he probably did and then click on the links so just saying man world of warcraft is fun i played that before like local hookups that's it it sounds like Rev is just jealous of you and Draven. <laughs> what is that all about? Uh -huh. Go back to your friend Draven. Or something Rev said on that line. That was weird. Yeah. Man, there's a lot of stuff here, guys. That's why I couldn't even play any videos today. It's just straight, straight uh, messages. Uh, Instagram messages. And, uh, G-Man, if you watch this, this is why Shani deleted the channel. She got her food stamps, and she got called out, and there's so much proof of it that uh, it looks like she did that. She deleted it, and she's going to try to start over again for, like, the hundredth time. I'm sure we won't find her, though. <laughs> Not like the 99 other times we found her. That was weird. Yeah, I watched the video, Dravens, to see what you said. You watched all my videos. I'll know it. Yeah, that interview or whatever it was. Huh, maybe he's just jealous of Draven. The whole time Jason's acting offended. Well, of course. Of course, Shani. Oh, uh, he's going to act like how you act when, when you're a cornered animal. Offended. You know how you start crying about ending your life and stuff when once he starts talking back to you about how dare you sit on that pea stained couch? How dare you use his uncle? Same stuff. And then you say, you don't know me, but that's a lie. I mean, you don't know me personally, thank God. Were, were you friends before? Okay, but yeah. He is handsome. Maybe he feels treated by, threatened by me or something. It was weird. Projection and confession. But did he ever meet up with someone around you? This is her asking, uh, Shani. Which I know for a fact he met up with somebody at well he told maybe he didn't meet up but he implied he wanted to by a playground Shani says i don't know there's evidence he did though he denies it <laughs> damn like being outside for a long time alone 
I got his email when he was working at Burger King. That's a few weeks ago, right? Yeah. So how did he do that, Shani? Again, how was he talking to you and talking to her? I personally feel like he was never working at Burger King. And then and then the the manager said, come into work sick. Uh, Shani, if you don't know anything about the food industry, they don't want you coming into work sick. Anybody who's been a cook or a chef or worked in anything to do with food would know that that's true. How did you take it when he said, send me pics? Oh, it gets worse. Or if worse goes to worse, have you have any place to stay? No, she doesn't. That's why she's dealing with this. Shani says no. <laughs> <laughs> It was like, this has to be, or actually, Excellent. <laughs> I, I was like, this has to be them trolling me. So I was sure about that. No, I knew nothing about it until last night. That's what Shani's saying. I, I wonder how this all blew up. Like, did she decide to go to, through his phone? Was he being very uh, guarded with the phone? Something like that. Uh, okay, because he said you always are with you, right? Wow, now I feel bad. I was hundred percent sure you and Rev trolled me about that. You see, Shani, even Ashley thought you were just sitting there, you know, like Gilbert Grape. What's eating Gilbert Grape? You're just sitting there on that couch while Rev's across the other uh, couch, and she says no, she wasn't there. How's that feel, Shani? Is it possible for Rev to live with his uncle and you the other area of the house? No, I'm too fat. Oh, she says, that's why I'm so upset. Uh, that's a huge bitch. I totally understand that. Wow, I did not think he, he uh, seemed to love you a lot. Not to sound like an a-hole, but when he talked about Norway... New star, I was thinking, okay, Shani also, but I don't think you can fit on that airplane. <laughs> and I played that. You guys seen this one already. But now you have context to the leading up to this. It bothered me too, like a lot. And flying for so long, I would struggle a lot because of pain. Yeah. And then this is when Shani was like, why would I leave my sons? Because you already did. Because you already did. Oh, uh, that's right. The, the boys are on extended vacation, if anyone didn't know that. Uh, okay, so yeah, I don't think about that. Maybe they after or something. I think that was like my thought process then. How old are they now? She doesn't know. Hey, were you guys making plans? Me and Rev? Yeah, I just wanted to meet you guys, and I was sure you, you were going to join. You start. Because I see you struggle there. Every time she gets up, every time she tries to wipe her own butt, she says the struggle is real. Uh, it's easier here to live when it comes to money, especially when you're from another country. I told them about a factory job here. Just sit there and watch the machine and make four grand a month. And you would get a free health care. But I had to do some dishes and wash the clothes now. I'll be back later. But one thing I reacted to, did you have amazing ill? I yeah, oh, that's right. They said they did have amazing SEX, which is gross. I remember when I was cheated on, and he was fire in the bed. Like, hey, what the F is this? I found out that he was... Uh, uh, he was... Blocked or blah, blah, blah. After a thing... Uh oh, sorry. I want to make sure. So basically, right here, she got. She said, "Am I blocked?" I was hurt when he said, "You only talked about me because of money." Because that's messed up, you know. Like you guys clearly see that they were talking for months, talking about death, talking about uh living in a different country, talking about a lot of stuff. And Rev kept saying that you're beautiful and gorgeous. Shane, did you know that he said that Ashley was beautiful and gorgeous? And again, I mean, you know, we could we could uh timestamp that for you. Um 
So, okay. So basically, the doctors are free here and at the hospital, but you have to pay 12 bucks every time. But when you reach $200, you get free healthcare the year out and the medicines on blue uh, recipient. But then I will put airplane tickets and make sure you're on it and meet you at the, I guess that's the uh, um, airport. If you call me a whore one more time, I will flip. I haven't touched a man in eight years. Just kissing. And there have been a whore. Have you seen my, you know, hat? Yes, you have. And it looks nice. <laughs> I mean, you know. Women be fighting. Wow, I'm unblocked. If you pass, what should we see then? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure Rev would make a video. He, you know, that's just how it, Rev is. He's like Euronymous. I don't want our, I don't want you dead. No one does. Dra oh my God, drama queen, of course. And we've all said that in the chat. We don't want Shani to pass, okay? It's just... That's, um... We don't want that. But you know what? That's it. That is it. Those are all the receipts that I have. But guys, I am going to be uh, going. So guys, thanks for coming in. Like I said, like on the way out. Um, thank you for hanging out. And uh, more to come. More to come. But thank you all for hanging out with me. Uh, I don't know if anyone else is going live later. Uh, but if they are, check them out. And that's it. Um, have a good evening and I will see you all really, 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 really soon. You're, well, you're welcome. Remember a while back. Your time. Did you get next wrist to help? Yeah! That really, that was weird. That made me think Rev was trying to get rid of Shady back then. Yeah! Definitely. Definitely. But uh, Linda, oh, hamburgers, Corey, Kratos, Bucky, uh, Linda, it's been a while. What's up? Andres, uh, bro guy, have a great day, guys. Thank you for joining me on our little, my little uh, journey into the messages. <laughs> but that's it, guys. I'll see you soon. Uh, be good. Take care of yourselves. And remember, it's just.